Hey guys, right here, welcome to the channel. So I recently had a large surge on my house and now my furnace is no longer working, one of my most expensive appliances. So I'm currently working on getting this fixed. I'll post a video on that later. So today I'm gonna to show you multiple ways that I'm gonna add protection. So hopefully this will never happen again. So what are the ways you can add protection to your appliances in your home? Very common way is just getting a power strip and make sure it's not just a power strip, but actually a surge protection power strip. And that will help protect your appliances for TVs and computers. But what about the super expensive ones like this furnace here? Probably my most expensive appliance in my home. So I'll show you what we can do to add simple surge protection to this. So this is just one way that you can add surge protection to your furnace. And I'll talk about some other ways in just a second, but uh, let's just talk about this way first. So when I came and had this furnace installed, it basically looked just like this. There was a box and the power from came from this cord here and it ran directly into the furnace here. Now I rewired this box to have a cord and I've got a video on how I rewired this. It's really pretty easy. So basically I have a cord coming out of my furnace and this cord lets me plug in to like a generator in case the power goes out or just any sort of outlet. And, uh, and then this device here is just, I just rewired this. And so this is basically a standard electrical outlet, but it does have this switch on here, which is probably a little bit overkill, but it lets you turn on and off power. So you can just plug the, your furnace right into um, this outlet here. So it's pretty easy. And if you wanna um, turn off power to your furnace, if you wanna work on it, you can just unplug this or you can uh, flip the switch. Now, the nice part about this specific device is I can add a power strip to sit in between my power supply and my expensive appliance here. So if we plug it in here, and I can turn it on, and then I've got a power strip. If I had this hardwired in, I wouldn't be able to add this power strip here. And then I can just plug in my uh, furnace directly into the power strip. So surges on your home can really originate from a couple different places. It can originate from outside on the grid, say something's happening on the grid and there's some sort of fluctuation that can come into your home. So also it can originate from inside your house. For example, when you have like your larger, um, like an air conditioner running, when those stop, sometimes there's a little surge that can happen and it can send power throughout other parts of your house. And then there's lightning strikes. Now, if a lightning directly strikes your house, no guarantees that the surge protection is going to protect you there. But if you do have surge protection on your house, better than nothing. So when I had this surge come through my house, in my garage, I was using this uh, surge protector and it did an awesome job. I can see that this little device, it burned up and then it literally cut off any power to my appliances that were plugged into this. It was really nice. Now, there are some other options where you can add the, a whole home surge protection device inside your main electrical panel. And basically you connect it to one of the breakers if there's any voltage spikes or surges from the outside, it'll direct that power and redirect it straight to ground to dissipate that surge. And they have a little light that shows you are protected. However, if there's something wrong with the grid and there's maybe there's three surges that come in, it'll only protect against the first surge. It'll burn up and then it'll still allow power to your house. It's not like sitting in between the grid and your home. It's trying, it's just monitoring and it's trying to interrupt the power and dissipate it to ground. Once that first surge comes, it'll burn up and uh, then you're gonna have to replace it. And the following surges, they're still gonna come into your house. So that's the benefit of having one of these. For that first surge, it sacrificed itself and it literally cut off power to any appliances. Now, say you have a expensive TV on your wall and you don't have really room for one of these large devices, they do have specifically an outlet that you can uh, remove the outlet from your old from your house put a surge protected outlet in its place and then you can plug in your tv if you want to protect your tv so if i really want to protect myself with multiple surge protection devices what i could add and what i am going to be adding to my home is the whole home surge protection in my electrical near my electrical panel so I can also remove this outlet totally and replace it with a surge protection outlet. 
And after the surge protection outlet, I can additionally add this surge protector. So I'll have three lines of defense to protect my appliances. So hopefully that'll be enough to protect my furnace because I do not want this happening again. The furnace guy came over, he said it'll be $2,000 to fix this. I do have some parts ordered, so I think I can do it by myself, but this surge has definitely not been fun. So if you wanna buy one of these, you may be thinking which one is probably the best. Now, they, you can get really expensive surge protectors. Where you wanna start is you wanna make sure it conforms to the UL1449 standard. So if you look at the back of this surge protector, you can see that it is um, conforms to the UL1449 uh, standard. And this one that protected me, you can see that it, um, it conforms to the UL1449 uh, standard as well. However, all these are not created equal because this power strip, it sac kind of sac sacrificed itself and shut off power to my devices from Power Sentry. Good job, Power Sentry. Awesome. Now, on e now, even though this one did conform to the standard and it was tested according to the standard, this brand did not protect my kids' uh, Nintendo. So their Nintendo is now fried. The Nintendo was plugged into this and there was no protection. For some reason, this didn't do its job. So check out this device I just found on Amazon. It looks like it has a lot of the same circuitry that was on my surge protector that protected my garage. Now here's the circuitry I have on that uh, protected my garage. It has uh, quite a few, uh, I think these are called barristers. One of them burned up. And uh, on the one that didn't protect me, look at this. So it only has one large uh, barrister there. So I wouldn't buy that one, but I think I'd probably buy that one on Amazon. That one looks pretty good. So this is what I'm gonna do on my house. So let me know in the comments if you know of any other good brands or any other devices that I missed that will help with surge protection. So hopefully this will help someone out. You can add this box to the side of your furnace, add that. And if you wanna watch a video on how to add the whole home surge protection, go ahead and watch this video right here. But thanks a lot, guys. We will talk to you later.